Hey, my name is Jared, and in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Most likely, you're sitting there asking yourself, why would I be doing this, and what's in it for me? The answer is, oftentimes, in the world of the internet, most local business owners are too busy running their business to learn how the internet can actually benefit them and their company. Sometimes the only hesitation they have to hiring someone is they don't know who is an expert and who isn't. So I have found that by giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things that they can do to impact their business for free has resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hands and saying, I like you, Jared, please do this for me. So if by the end of this video you've liked what you've heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help you with your business, shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video you simply want to take this free attack plan I gave you to do yourself, that works for me too. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time or mine. All right, Nicole, so here we are on your website. What we want to do is just kind of run through it quick, look at how much content's on the site, look at the photos, uh, what they're being named, and then just kind of give you a couple of pointers there. So as we go through here, um, this is the whole website, right? This is the whole, you know, the front page is what I mean to say, but um, your homepage is only holding 45 words of content. So when Google puts out their recommendations for getting found for more things, getting found in the search engines, they really do recommend having between 300 and 1500 words of content. If you have less than 300 words of content, they don't really know what you're all about and they don't know who to send to your website. So it's very important to talk to Google with text and then, you know, to also have photos named correctly. So if we save this photo, Richmond wedding photographer, Nicole Vance photography. So very good there. So you have, where are you? What are you doing? And then your business or your name there. So very well done there. The point now is, are we hitting all of these keywords? Are there more keywords that we should be hitting? Are we naming every photo the same thing? You know, is there different ways that we could be mixing this up to be found for other names or, for, you know, words as well? So let's take a look at your back end and really see what kind of words we're getting found for. All right, Nicole. So here you can see that you are getting 16 traffic per month. You're getting found for 36 keywords. And then once we get these keywords built out, right? So we're talking about getting more content on the site, naming the photos, different words so that we have more keywords we're targeting. Once we get found for those keywords, here's how we outrank them right here is going to be your domain and backlink profile. So this 2.7, that's a score out of 100, showing you kind of where you stand um, in a little, you know, a grade site type of format. Um, but a referring domain is just another website that you've reached out to who is going to host some sort of content. That hosting of content is usually going to contain a link. That link is going to take you back to your page. So it's a backlink, right? So all we're trying to do is create a network of websites and other blogs and other things that we associate with that's going to help show Google that we are established and that we are um, somebody that you should be referring your traffic to uh, as far as our website. All right, so here you can see I just highlighted everything that has your name in it. So these are the kinds of keywords that we don't want to be targeting. People know who you are by your name, so as long as we can get you ranked for your name, which Nicole Vance Photography, you are sitting at number one for that. So, you know, job's done there. Now we can move on from, you know, away from naming everything our name and really start to target those keywords. So. Once we, you know, filter through all of these, we're really not getting found for any of those words that people are searching for when they're looking to hire a photographer. So what we want to do is look at the competitors and see if they're getting found for the different words that we want to be found for. All right, so what we went ahead and did is we typed in Virginia wedding photographer. What we're doing is we're looking for a competitor to see where the competition is currently at. We're looking to see where their keywords they are that they're getting uh, found for. And then we're looking to see what kind of traffic they're bringing in with those keywords if uh, if not just what traffic is available to us so right away you can see there's no ads up at the top here in the map pack this right here is um, very important when people are searching on the mobile uh, other things like that as they drive around town <clears throat> and so the way that we get ranked here is going to be with your name your address and your phone number in as many places as far as directories and around the internet are concerned um, you can see that the address is not always listed so right here there's no address so just because the address isn't showing doesn't mean it's not there it's just hidden to the public so definitely want to have your name address and phone number around the, the internet as many times as possible to help verify our information with Google and then down here this is the organic section so first things first we have to get found by for the keyword 
the keyword is what got searched in the search bar. So the way we do that is by building out uh, content with intention. We reverse engineer a list of keywords we're trying to hit, and then we make sure we put those keywords as they are needed to be in order to be found for them. So we, what we did is we, we went ahead and picked Megan Kelly's photography.com uh, and we're going to go ahead and look through there and see what her website looks like. So as you can see here, she is uh, Megan Kelsey, Virginia, Washington, D.C., destination wedding photographer. Um, so a couple of areas. Otherwise, a very clean, uh, you know, basic site. Not a whole lot going on. Um, not very long. Not a lot of content. When we're looking to get found by Google, right, there's a difference between getting found by Google, and which is going to bring people to the website, and then there's a difference between just making the site look like, you know, a, a fancy brochure. So when we're trying to get found by Google, we want to really build out the content. And on the home page alone, we're looking at about 1,500 words of content. And then as we go on to these back pages, say a portfolio, we, what we want to see here is between 500 and 700 words of content. But it's super important, especially for photographers, to go in and name all of these pictures something intentional. So right here you can see uh, they named whose wedding it is, they named where it's at, and then wedding photographer. Uh, Sarah Kevin, but going in and actually naming these with intention would look something like, you know, Virginia wedding photographer, um, you know, wedding photographer, Richmond, Virginia, or whatever, destination wedding photographer in there, all those different kinds of things. So as we're building out our photos, we're also targeting all those keywords. All right, so here we are in the overview section. This is a tool called AREFs. Uh, and what we're looking at here is this 28 is actually going to be a representation of the score. Uh, of these two numbers right here. So these are your domains and backlinks. Your domains are just other websites that you do not own that are associating with you. The way that you associate with other websites is by hosting content for them. So hosting some sort of a link, a picture, uh, you know, a citation, anything like that, that if you were to click on it, would link them back to you, right? So that's your backlinks. So it's important to associate with high level websites and to really build out a network um, so that in Google's eyes, we have some authority in the space and have you know verif been verified by third parties uh, around the internet. So right here you can see she's getting found for 306 keywords and that's driving 130 people to her website per month. So it's important to go ahead and dig through these keywords and see where that traffic comes from. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. All right, so here are the keywords of MeganKelseyPhotography.com and what we were looking for here is we're looking to see where all the traffic's coming from. So you can see here is the traffic column and this is going to be telling us how many people she's actually landing per month from these from these words. So your wedding experience is going to be bringing her in some traffic, um, which is probably something that people are searching for as far as a um, you know a a blog or something like that. And then down here, so VA photographer is going to be a good one to target. So she's bringing in 11 off of that out of a an available 90. And then down here, so we have an available 80. Here's another 150. You know, so as we go through here, all of these are going to be adding up. People just say things different ways um, and things like that. So down here is a big hitter. So photographers in Virginia, um, you know, so and then right here we can see exactly where she's ranking to pull in that traffic. Right. So a lot of information here. But what we're looking for is we're looking to really focus our intention when we're trying to build out our content and name the photos in the website. All right, Nicole, that is all I've got for you. I hope that was helpful. I hope you got some sort of information out of it. Um, again, real quick, we want to really build out the content on our website. We really want to target keywords as we're naming our photos, especially being a photographer and having plenty of photos to put on the website. Um, other than that, we really want to optimize the website and really get things pointed in the right direction. If you have any further questions, please reach out to me. My phone number is 402-515-7222. Otherwise, we look forward to talking soon. Thanks. Bye.